Hi everyone, and welcome to Weekly Cooking with Becky. But today we're gonna do something just a little bit different. We're gonna walk through my day and see what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and give you a recipe. So the first things first is I'm gonna start with some breakfast. And I really, really like on a light day, these, I don't know if you've ever seen them before, these triple uh, zero Oikos yogurts. They have 15 grams of protein and they're triple zero because there's no added sugar, no artificial sweeteners, which is a huge win-win, no added fats to them, but tons and tons of proteins. And then I am going to be making my, um, my Starbucks cold brew hack. So I'm gonna be making up my cold brew with my sugar-free vanilla and my heavy cream. I'm gonna post that link above so that you can see that video later. That was a link I made before. And once I get breakfast in my belly, I'm actually gonna start dinner with you early because it's gonna take me throughout the day because I have a lot of errands to run. So we're gonna start the recipe early but then come back to it throughout the day and I'm excited to show you that. So let me eat breakfast and I'll get started with dinner with you in just a little bit. All right, so I've had breakfast, I've had my yogurt and I have had my Starbucks cold brew. And as I said, I'm going to link that recipe above so that you guys can see it. But I need to start working on dinner early just because I have a lot of appointments today. So we're gonna make a faux tato salad. That's gonna be a part of dinner later. Normally I would make this in the afternoon, but like I said, I'm busy today. So I'm gonna get the faux tato started. So for the faux tatoes, we're using these, so turnips. So what I'm going to do, you're gonna use, normally you wanna use full size turnips, but they're kind of small right now. Um, so I'm using, two medium and one small, but if you have two big, use two big is, is kind of what you want. You basically want to have two cups worth of turnips. And just so you guys know, if you were to compare turnips to potatoes, cup for cup, there's 24 grams of carbs in a cup of potato. There's eight grams of carbs in a cup of turnip. So it's a good swap out. And we're not using cauliflower to make our potato salad or faux potato salad, we're using turnips. The other thing you're gonna want is some hard boiled eggs and I'm lazy, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do later for that. And then anything else you wanna add, carrots, peas, celery, all that stuff, have those things ready. I'm gonna keep it basic for you. Um, so right now I am going to simply peel like I would a potato cut it up into small chunks. It'll boil faster. I'm gonna cook it till fork tender and drain, and then I'm gonna stick it in the fridge to let it get nice and cool, but I'm gonna be putting it on paper towels. The thing with turnips is they're a high water vegetable. So by the time I use it later today, the paper towels will have absorbed some more of the water because we don't want the mayonnaise to get watery. And I will toss the paper towels when it's time for us to assemble our uh, potato salad later. So right now I am peeling and boiling some turnips and I'll see you later at lunch. Okay, so it is lunchtime here, but before I show you my lunch, this is what turnips look like. So they are nice and fork tender. I'm just gonna kind of like just stab it and show you nice and fork tender. However, there's still a lot of moisture. So this is what I suggest. Normally you make them a few hours um, beforehand, just like if you were to do a potato salad. So get out a couple paper towels and just kind of put them in the bottom and put some in, kind of a layer at the bottom. And that's about it. I'm going to do the same thing because I want it to absorb some of that moisture during the day while it's getting nice and cold for later. So I'm going to do that, kind of press in there. You may or may not already see it's drawing some moisture. So I'm going to add some more potatoes or potatoes, as I guess I should say. 
And then when I'm back this evening near dinner time, I'm gonna show you my, my potato salad. I add eggs and red onion, but you know, some of you guys may, like I said, do the celery, do whatever, um, do whatever floats your boat. Where I'm just kind of giving you a base. So right now I'm doing this. I want it to draw out moisture during the day. You'll see, it's already still drawing out more. And we're gonna make it get nice and cold in the fridge. So that's that. Here, I have a bed of lettuce. I have some grated Parmesan, some deli chicken, and some Caesar salad. Very basic Caesar salad. And since I'm low carb, not keto, I have half of an apple. Um, low carb, you can do that. You can't do a full apple. You have to still count your grams and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, half a cup of watermelon, not a full cup of watermelon, but I am low carb, so this does count, but I'm always really good about cutting mine in half so that I don't accidentally eat the whole apple. And then you just share it with somebody else in your family that's low carb as well, or wants some on the side of their meal. So I'm gonna have some Caesar salad with half of an apple, and I will see you later when I'm probably a little snacky. All right, talk to you soon. Hi, so it's the afternoon, time for a snack. And as you see, still running errands. So I have a Quest cookie at one gram of sugar, two net carbs. Gonna have that with some water. See you at dinner. I am finally home. So let's assemble this potato salad. And then I'm gonna get working on cooking up some burgers while this sits in the fridge and re-chills up for just a few minutes. So what I have done to make my life a little bit easier only because it was a crazy day. If you've ever seen these before, they are already cooked and peeled eggs. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So I went ahead and took four of them out. I've got two that I can use later in the week for eating for whatever. I have the faux potatoes or cooked turnips. I have four eggs. I just have some chopped red onion. That's what I like. And then I have some cracked pepper. Our family likes a mustard mayo salad. So I've got mustard kind of zhuzhed in there and some mayonnaise. Now, this is where it kind of becomes your thing you may not want the onion, or you may want it, like I do onion in place of celery. We're not a celery fan here. So that's what I do. Um, you may want to do relish instead with a dill picker, dill pickle instead of the um, mustard, or you may want to do the mayo, but add a little bit of vinegar instead of, or, or the dill pickle instead of the mustard. So when you mix it keep it low carb but that's basically what you're going to do the main swap here is the turnip and then you can kind of go crazy and do your own thing so we're going to get to mixing i have already dumped everything kind of in i've got the eggs already sliced and diced uh the potatoes i showed you earlier the chopped onion i've drizzled in the mustard i've got the mayo off to the side and you can see all of the black pe pepper now, I don't know if I have enough mayo yet. It's kind of one of those things when every time you make a batch, you kind of just have to guess because sometimes your one batch is bigger than the next. So I always put in what I think is enough, but if I need more, it's like right there. Or sometimes I'll chill it and be like, no, I need to add a little bit more or I need to add a little bit more mustard or a little bit more pepper. Uh, some people like to add paprika. Some people like to add a little bit of uh, bacon crumbles to the top when they go to serve it. Uh, so really, it's kind of a you do you at this part. I'm just giving you the base. All you really need is the potato and some eggs and then top it however you want. Have your mayonnaise base and then you decide 
Are you going to use a vinegar base, a mustard base, a dill pickle relish base? And you've got the base to start making a potato salad that literally looks amazing like that, but it's not the typical baked potato salad that uses cauliflower. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge. I'm gonna let it chill a little bit and then we'll have our taste test after it chills a little bit when the burgers are ready. All right, and here I am for the last meal of my day and my what did I eat in a day. I have my burger patty, funless, and here is that potato salad. All right, I'm gonna make sure I have a little bit of onion, egg, and potato. That was so good. Seriously, guys, if you have a potluck, 4th of July is next week. Make this and do however you normally do it. And don't tell anybody. They'll all wonder, why are you eating potatoes? It's your cheat day. Shh, they'll never know. All right, so that's my what I ate in the day with a recipe. Also remember, I linked the uh, Starbucks cold brew recipe as well. See you next time. Bye.